let us see this question in which a cone is divided into five parts by making four cuts horizontally such that height of the cone is divided in five equal parts if we visualize this what we get is that four cuts are made horizontally as this to find the ratio of the volume of the largest part to the volume of the smallest part let us first consider this as five different cones whose heights are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 and is to 5 since these are similar cones the ratio of height would also be equal to ratio of the base considering this five different cones as we get the ratio of sides as 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 is to 5 thus the ratio of volume of this five cones would be 1 cube is to 2 cube is to 3 cube is to 4 cube is to 5 cube since we know that for similar figures the ratio of volume will always be equal to cube of linear ratios thus the volume of this five cones would be in the ratio of 1 is to 8 is to 27 is to 64 is to 125 but then after making cuts we do not have the cones we have one cone and the other four fresh terms so the volume of other four fresh terms can be calculated as this where volume of the cone if it is 1 the volume of the fresh term the second part becomes volume of cone with this base minus volume of cone with this base and that is 8 minus 1 seven the volume of the third part becomes 27 minus 8 that is 19 and volume of the last part becomes 125 minus 64 is equal to 61 once again if we see volume of this the largest part would actually be volume of the original cone minus volume of cone made by this cut that is and thus if volume of the original cone is 125 and volume of this cone is 4 cube that is 64 the volume of the largest part would be 125 minus 64 that is 61 and thus the volume of the largest part to the smallest part is 61 is to 